This automation clones viral Instagram reels into your voice and makes AI avatar videos using HN and then auto publishes it everywhere to nine social platforms using Blotato. For example, if you love Alex Hormozzi and you're inspired by his reels, you can drop one of these reels into this automation. It's going to analyze the transcript, the caption, generate your own version in your voice tailored to your niche industry or use case. Then it's going to use HeyGen to create an AI clone video and auto post it to social media using Blotato. I'm going to show you how the final version works and then we'll set it up step by step. The template is absolutely free. It's going to be in the video description. So in this automation, we're going to use Airtable to manage the videos. And basically all you do is you drop an Instagram real URL into this table and it's going to trigger the entire automation. So let's grab one of Alex's reels. Let's say this one. Okay, so just copy the URL. And you could have a form submission instead, right? So let's say you want to expose this to your team. They can just submit this form and it's going to add it to the table. So if I open this form, click submit. Okay. Now, if we go view the data, now we see the third reel that I just submitted. You can see it's created right now. And now it's going to trigger the entire automation to analyze the video and then generate your own version of the script, caption, and overlay. So once we drop in that URL, it triggers this initial part of the workflow. We're going to use Apify to download the Instagram reel. When it's done, then we're going to use ChatGPT to generate the script, caption, and overlay. And then we're going to insert the draft back into Airtable for your final review. Now, if I click executions up here, you can see that we've successfully triggered the workflow because it's currently running right now. And when this first part of the workflow is complete, we're going to see it populate here in Airtable with the draft script, caption, and overlay. And then the next step is to review it manually, make any edits. Once we're happy with it, we're going to click approve and it's going to trigger the next part of the automation to actually create our AI clone video. Real quick, if you don't know me, my name's Sabrina Romanoff. I teach AI to millions of people and I previously built and sold a company for millions of dollars and my background's in computer science and physics. And you can see it just populated here. So here's our sample script based on Hermosi's video. Here's a sample caption and here's a sample overlay, which is like the title title of the video. Okay, so what you want to do here is just make any final edits. Okay, so if you don't like certain parts of it, make any final edits here. And this is a really neat human in the loop step so you can approve everything before the concept is made. Once you're happy with everything, just click this button approved. And this is going to trigger the next part of the workflow. Step two, this part in red, pink. Okay. So what it's going to do is check what that it's approved. Then it's going to go create an avatar video using HeyGen. You can optionally create an avatar video with or without a background. For example, this avatar video does not have a custom background, whereas this avatar video does have a custom background. That's optional though. If you want a custom background URL, you would paste it over here. So we're going to wait for this entire thing to run. This this is what takes a while because it's actually going to generate the avatar video in HeyGen. And if I hop on over to my HeyGen accounts, you can actually see it's creating right now. So this was just loaded just now and it's making our avatar video. Once the avatar video is complete, it's going to upload it over to Blotato and then post it to social media using Blotato. I've only activated Instagram and deactivated the other social platforms because while you're testing it, you just want to test on one social platform, make sure it works. And then the very last step here is this merges all of the outputs. And if there is an error, it's going to log it in your Airtable database here, right here in this column, error log, which is really nice. We can see the avatar video is only 30%. So we're just going to wait. Once it's created, it'll automatically be posted to my Instagram account over here. And when everything is done, you'll be able to go to executions and see that everything ran. So you can see here, everything is in green. It triggered the Airtable. It created the avatar video, which you can see in my account. It's completed here. And then it uploaded it to Blotato and then posted it to Instagram. And here it is on my Instagram page here. Okay. And here's my avatar. All right. So that's how the entire flow works. You drop in that Instagram real URL that you want to clone with your own AI avatar. Optionally, you can drop in a background URL if you want a green screen behind your avatar. And then this workflow will analyze that particular reel and generate a script caption overlay based on your prompts, which could be industry specific or use case specific. Make any edits here in Airtable as a human in the loop approval step and then click approved when everything is ready to go. You want the avatar video to be 
generated and posted on social media. So now let's walk through how to set everything up. And this one is a bit detailed. It requires a couple separate tools. So we have Airtable, we're using Blotato for posting. Apify to actually get the Instagram transcript, OpenAI to write the script, and then HeyGen to create the avatar video. This is going to be your best friend in terms of setting this up. The overview here is basically what we talked about. This is just a step-by-step -step of how the entire workflow works. Definitely make sure to follow this setup section step-by-step. -step. It contains everything you need to get this up and running. So let's just go in order. So ensure you have verified community nodes for Blotato and Apify. You just want to make sure you have community nodes enabled and then install the Blotato community node version 1.0.4 as of this video and install the Apify community node. In Airtable, if you don't already have an account, create a free account, then visit the personal access token page. This is basically what's going to allow Airtable and any to, to communicate. So just click create token here, name the token. You're going to add these certain scopes, data.records read, data.records write, and schema.bases read. So data records read, data records write, and then schema bases read. So you will need these three scopes. Fill out the name for your token. And then in access, you can either give it access to all of the bases that you have, right? Or you can give it access to a particular database. If it's your first time using Airtable, it might just be easier to add all resources. So go ahead and do that and then create your AnyDen credential for Airtable. So to do that, you just click the plus button on the left side, click credential, search for Airtable, click continue, and then put in your token that you just generated. Then the next step is to actually set up your Airtable database. Instead of doing it manually, all you have to do is clone my existing database. So click this link, clone this Airtable database, and then click copy base here at the top. What this is going to do is copy everything in my database over to your Airtable account. So it's going to be super easy. Then the last step for setting up Airtable is once you've cloned my database, you basically want to copy the URL of it and paste it in the Airtable triggers. So let's say you've cloned my database. So it should look something like this, right? Within your own account, copy and paste the full URL, just copy paste it. And all these nodes that are Airtable, you can see the logos here, you're going to copy paste this URL in all of these nodes. So open this up, paste your URL here, base, paste your URL here, table, insert draft, paste your URL here here, paste your URL here. So base and table. Okay. Here where it says approved, open that, paste it here, base, paste it here, table. And then the last step, log error, open that, paste it here in base and paste it here in table. So now we're done setting up Airtable. Next is to set up Blotato. So Blotato is actually an app I've built to help scale myself as an AI education creator. And a lot of people like it for its API. However, the API is not included in the free trial. So just make sure you're ready to post to social media if you actually want to sign up and use the API. So go ahead and sign up for Blotato. There's going to be an onboarding screen, just a couple screens if it's your first time. Then head over to settings, API. Here it's going to say generate API key. Click that button and then copy the API key and create your Blotato credential. Then click credential, search for Blotato, boom, and then paste your API key in here and that's it. The next thing you'll want to do is also set up your social accounts in Blotato. So log into the social accounts that you want to post to. On the starter plan, you can connect up to 20 social accounts and Facebook pages and LinkedIn pages don't count towards that total. So you could have 20 Facebook accounts and each one could have 10 pages. Next, we're going to set up Apify. It has all kinds of things you can do like scrape TikTok, scrape Google Maps, scrape Instagram. If you haven't set up an account already, just go ahead and then set up an account. Make sure it's funded with billing and then you're going to go to the console, console.apify.com head over to settings on the bottom left, API and integrations, and then create a new token here. So this is your API token. And just like with the other ones, you'll want to create a credential. Credential here, Apify API, and then paste your token here. The fourth one is the HeyGen API. So go over to HeyGen.com. This is what we're going to use to create the avatar. So sign up for it, then go to settings, subscriptions and API, HeyGen API. You're going to see a button here to generate your API token. So click that and then copy your API token. In fact, all these three steps, HeyGen API, avatar ID, and voice ID, we're going to have to set up. So open this setup node over here. It's a setup too. And then you're going to paste your HeyGen API key here. 
So again, grab it from settings. And then you're going to paste your avatar ID. So let me show you how to grab that. Go here, go to avatars, click the avatar you want to use. And you're going to have a bunch of options. So hover over the one you like, click co copy avatar ID, paste it here. Similarly for voices, head over to voices, choose the one you like, hover over it, click get voice ID and paste it here. And you should be good to go with this setup step. And then the very last step is just connecting your Blotato social accounts here. So make sure your credential is connected. You don't have to change the platform, just select your account from the drop down menu. And for testing purposes, I recommend deactivating all of these accounts to start with. Once Instagram works, then you can activate the next one, which is YouTube. Just make sure you select your YouTube account from the drop down menu. And when you initially load this, you will have to kind of open up all of these nodes and select your credentials. So you will have to select your Airtable credential. You'll have to open this up, select your Apify credential. You'll have to open this one up, select your open AI credential, which I'm not going to walk through here. Most people already have an open AI account. So open upload media, select your Blotato credential. And for each of these publishing steps, you'll need to also select your Blotato credential as well as your social account, like I just talked about. The good news is once you set up all of your accounts, you don't really need to change much else. Like everything should run as long as your credentials are set up, your API accounts all have billing and are funded. Follow this setup guide step by step. And then there's also little sticky notes here, like setup one, you're going to have to select, you know, the nodes to select your credentials and then paste your Airtable URL like we talked about. Setup step two is just pasting your HN API, avatar ID, and voice ID. And then for the Blotato nodes, you'll just have to select the social accounts you want to post to. But that's pretty much it. You don't really need to change anything else on your first run through. However, as you get this working and you want to really improve the quality of the avatar and the script, you'll want to open up this generate script caption overlay and work on the prompt. This prompt is basically telling ChatGPT to analyze the original script, caption, and hashtags, and then rewrite it according to your use case, industry, or voice, right? So this is where you want to spend most of your time once you have the entire workflow running. And now you're thinking about how do I customize the avatar script so that it really, really fits my use case. And then I'll just go over some tips and tricks. So again, while testing, just enable one social platform like I just tested with Instagram. Make sure the entire thing works and now I can enable the other ones. In HeyGen, you generally want to have it open so you can see if the video is being created. It can take some time, especially if you have a longer script. Sometimes HeyGen API has delay. Then after the workflow finishes, it could still take a couple minutes to upload to social media depending on how long your video is. And the last thing that I'll mention that is a common hiccup is oftentimes people don't have the correct HeyGen plan. Unfortunately, it is kind of pricey. You need the creator plan to even make your own avatar. And then unfortunately, they have a whole separate pricing plan for the API. So click Explore API Pricing. And you need the $99 per month plan just to get started with their API. The last thing I'll say is because of the costs involved, especially with HeyGen, like we're talking about 130 bucks per month just for this step two, this automation is not meant for beginner content creators because you're going to end up burning a lot of money on HeyGen, even though you don't know how to make good content yet. This is really for intermediate or advanced content creators or agencies building this out for clients. Once you get this up and running, you're going to spend most of your time like improving the quality of your avatar and voice itself and also improving the scripting here like this chat GPT prompt to write a script caption hashtags that is tailored to your use case and voice. If you have any questions setting this up, the best way to reach me is to go into Blotato, hit this orange button on the bottom right corner, click send a message. AI bot will always try to answer first, but if the issue is still unresolved, then I usually try to answer tickets within 24 to 48 hours. Like I said, you don't have to build this from scratch. You can just download this template by checking the description of the YouTube video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment or questions if you have any.